Hey guys, it's Trish. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making some Day of the Dead earrings that I created. I'm showing you here what your tools are that you're going to need, just the usual sub specs, as well as a bail making plier will be needed for as far as tools. You're going to need a bench block for a little bit of work hardening of your wire, some 26 gauge wire some 20 gauge and i use beetle on a german style wire uh, you could also use an 18 gauge and some Mayuki delicas this is a beautiful mix we're also going to be using the day of the dead mix that i was sent in my design ambassador kit and i'm showing the pieces there that um we're going to be using a head pin ear wire beads from the uh, mix and I'm going to take care about a 12 inch piece of the German style wire and I'm going to cut it of course and then what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to warm it up with my hands a little bit kind of get it pliable and ready to work with So now I'm bringing in my bell making pliers and I'm using the third step on my bell making pliers and we're just going to take our wire and wrap it around that third step on the bell making plier and we're rotating our pliers as we're going so we can make a circle and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to make three loops I'm going to make one here in the middle as well And then of course the third one just kind of right now I'm kind of fidgeting with it just kind of getting things the way I want them to look that's up and over and around so now we have our three loops I'm gonna fiddle with that a little bit too just to get it to the right size and they all kind of match and coordinate there Okay, now I'm just gauging it. I'm looking at it and saying, okay, is this what I want? Are these the sizes of loops that I want? So I'm going in and just doing a little bit of adjustment. And then I'm kind of making sure I have my loops where I want them positioned as well, not just in the size. And you'll see here in a minute um, how I'm kind of trying to put it into the shape, the desired shape that I'm going to want in the long run here. Okay, and I'm just comparing it. I made one earlier. I'm just kind of bringing that over and I looked at it and I'm trying to get the shapes to match on the bottom the way I have my loops sitting. And I'm just running my fingers trying to get that oval shape that I desire. You know, what I'm doing here at the top is I'm crossing my wires. I'm just trying to get it to the size I want to match with the other earring okay and I kind of have it at this I have it at the size that I want it here pretty close and I'm comparing again just to make sure because we don't want our earrings not to match and I'm just going to bring in my uh, tweezers and pl nose pliers and bend one of the wires upright and one of the uh, the wires to the side and I'm going to grab it with my uh, my tweezer nose and just wrap it around just to kind of secure it there okay and I wrapped it around a few times I'm just kind of looking at it here is this how I want it get my shape back I'm gonna get that shape back a few times ok 
okay, now I'm going to get my bench block here, and I'm going to get a chasing hammer. And I'm going to go over this lightly. You don't have to bear down on it too hard. You're just kind of work hardening a little bit, flattening it out. It looks a lot nicer to me if you just kind of flatten it out a little bit. You and you could always uh, texture this frame a little bit if you would like the look of that. Right now, today, I'm just doing the flattening with the uh, basic chasing hammer. So, what am I doing here? All right, I am grabbing my chain nose pliers again, and I'm just wrapping around that top loop. I just want to give that a little bit of thickness, like kind of a little bit of a messy wrap. That's just what I think looks nice on these earrings. That's what I did with the first one. And I really like the way that it came out. So I'm just kind of fiddling with that now just to get that nice bird's nest look that I'm going for. And then I have this little piece of wire sticking out the back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to position this in a downward position. And then I'm going to kind of judge how much of the wire I want left. I'm going to snip that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this piece of wire into a small loop on the back of that bird's nest that we just made because I want somewhere so I can hook in my um, dangle that I'm going to make here um, shortly. And I'm just showing you here the loop that I made on the back, the position I wanted. I went it up kind of high because I want my dangle to be able to uh, fit in there nicely and not touch the bottom of the wire frame that I made. Now I'm getting some 26 gauge wire. Yes, that's what it is, 26 gauge. And I'm going to take about a 12 inch piece of this 26 gauge wire. And you'll see here in a moment what I'm going to do with that. Okay, so I'm going to start by wrapping this 26 gauge wire around the top of the frame that I made. I'm going to wrap that around two or three times at the top. And as you can see, I'm feeding the middle of the wire through the frame and I'm not taking the end and putting it through and then pulling it. You will get a lot less kinks in your wire if you do it that way where you're feeding the middle through. So now I'm just adding some Delica beads. I'm putting four different colors on, four different beads for each section. There's some really gorgeous um, Mayuki Delicas in the Jesse James bead shop. As always, the link for that is in my description. Okay, uh, and what I'm doing is I'm just wrapping those beads on. I'm putting them across the front. I'm holding that with my thumb, and then I'm putting the wire through twice to make two, loop, two loops afterward. And you can see how cute that looks on the front. And we're just going to repeat that process. And like I said, you're just holding those beads down with your thumb as you're wrapping two times around the frame in front of the cluster of beads that you made there on the frame. And now we're just going to get our uh, wire trimmers and we're going to trim both of those wires off. The bottom, make sure it's nice and snug and cut it right in there so you can push that end down to make sure there are no bur burrs on your wires. 
and here I am I'm pushing that down with my tweezer plier just to make sure and I'm feeling it to make sure there's no burrs sticking out and I'm pushing that down same thing on the bottom okay So here you can see that I have finished both sides of that with the uh, Mayuki Delicas. <clears throat> and now I'm getting out my head pin and I'm starting to string on the beads that I chose. This is a beautiful rose spacer and then a really cool turquoise skull. And then a little, I would say about three miller or four, four millimeter uh, hot pink rondelle and I'm just doing the process to make my wrap loop or I'm bending it over to the side and I'm placing in my round nose pliers up and over and then across and then I'm going to bring my chinos pliers in or my tweezer pliers and I'm going to wrap that loop around about three times so it's nice and secured and it's not going to move around on there either so we'll trim that wire and again I'm just gonna push down the burr on that and so I'm turning it over here and you can see that loop we made there I'm just opening up that loop and I'm going to slide on the dangle that we just made and then close that loop very well and kind of make sure it's positioned as well where we want it. Just kind of maneuvering it up there a little bit. And you can see it's hanging, it's very cute. Very cute. I love this bead mix, just love it. So I'm just fiddling with it a little bit just to kind of get things how I want it. And there I am, I'm happy. I'm happy with where it's sitting now. And now all that's left to it is we're going to add our tassels. Now I was thinking of doing coordinating tassels on the bottom like the same color of all three of them. But once I put this combination together it went so perfectly with the delicas and the skull and the beads. It just was perfect for me if you don't want it to be this colorful you could of course just all use all pink or all turquoise or all black of course it's your preference and I'm just opening the loops on those and closing them and hanging them off the bottom I'm checking them to make sure they're hanging right and that that's where I want them to be sitting color wise So there it is all together um, all we have to do now is make our wrap loop on the top with the same process we used earlier actually no I did not do a wrap loop on top I did a simple loop on top so I just trimmed my wire and I rolled it back just like I did the one for the back of the B frame that we made and I'm just getting it in position where I want it adjusting the loops Making sure everything is still sitting correctly. And I'm happy with that. Then we're going to get our ear wire here. And we're going to put that on. Closing that up a little bit just so it doesn't slide off. And I'm just grabbing the other one here so you can kind of see the pair together. It's kind of an odd angle so they don't stay on the, the uh, display long. I take them off and lay them on the table for you so you can see them better. Ooh, almost dropped it there. So here I'm laying them on the table and you can see 
the design. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. I certainly enjoyed making them. And take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.